Hello again, ladies. Hope you're well. I um today I'm making um altering a, a sewing machine, not a real one, but um shabby chic one. So I'm sure you've seen loads on um um the YouTube channels or the other ladies that have been doing. Um yeah, so I have decided uh, to get uh, mine um, out and do it. Um, it's another project that I've been wanting to do and put aside. So, um, okay, so this is the body of the, um, the sewing machine that I have to put together. I got the kit from Lisa's craft shop. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is um, I'm going to cover this box, which is the base of the sewing machine, and it comes with the kit uh, from Lisa. As you can see here, yeah, it's from Lisa, and there's a lovely, sturdy uh, magnetic box. Uh, ever so. Um, strong and handy so um, it's lovely for the sewing machine to stand on so I have cut out some I'm gonna align it with some warding I mean you don't have to but I, I, I like to have a bit of soft uh, softness to the top of the box so I cut up cut out to size the warding and um, some calico as well so it's just so yeah uh, for the just to cover the box up okay so I'm just gonna quickly uh, put some glue on to stick this on Drip of glue on the box just to make sure <laughs> I'm not gluing shut the box. Right, come on. So, this is I have left um, about a quarter of an inch gap all around so that gives me the uh, room to glue this fabric onto the box and not onto the warding because I don't want to tuck it tuck it underneath if you know what I mean I don't want to tuck it underneath and then it will uh, not shut properly so that's why I need the fabric to be on the box so I left a, a quarter of an inch all around give me the space to oh, stripping again don't glue shut my box this glue is right let's do this
there's nothing much to it um, basically yeah just um, putting a lining um, a base to your box so and that is my uh, that's what I like right this glue stick is going fast Just a little bit short with my uh, calico. I'm not too bothered about the glue on the top. It will be all covered up. So um, you, shan't, you shan't see any any mess. Okay, so just make sure it's stuck down using the nozzle and that will melt any glue underneath to secure it. There you go. So that will be... So that is the um, box surface cover and then I've, I'm not going to bother doing the sides with warding. Um, I don't think that's important so I'm just going to glue uh, the fabric, um, the calico is direct. Okay, so so that should be um, easy enough. side done. Now we're going to do the other side and that is how simple it is. Quick and easy and then the fun part uh, begins to uh, decorate this, the sewing machine on it and this box. we go so that is the box decorated and we shall put the sewing machine on and I'm going to use um, this beautiful beautiful fabric that I um, bought to cover the base of this fabric and um, yeah, that we, that's my plan. So I shall have to cut it all out. Um, yeah, I shall have to cut it all around, uh, all out. Right, I have now um, cut out um, some of this fabric, and I will now put it on the base. Uh, well, on this box. It's 
just just gonna glue underneath these beautiful applique flowers. Color. I just love these colors, absolutely my favorite. Pale pink, blue, all the beautiful pastel colors, my favorite. So, just gonna, oh, hang on a minute, that's the lid, isn't it? So, we cannot glue that. Um, so, that will need cutting. Just realized that. Nearly glue the lid together. So that's all right. We're just gonna cut along this bit. It's fine. I don't really want to cut into the flower, but um, I haven't. So it's just right. So right. Okay. Oh, always well. Nothing lost. So so that's that. Put that on there. That bit I'm alright, I can glue this bit because it's um I can glue that bit because it's not um on the it's not gonna bother the opening, that's fine. come off okay. okay I'm happy with that now so just checking it's still straight Maybe I need to put a little bit more stuffing under just to make sure it is standing up. That's better. That's better. I just want to make sure it's upright. Yeah, I'll be with that. Yeah. Okay. Right. Where's the other piece? I messed up on my, um, there we go, okay, there's the flowers, beautiful, right, That. I need to cut the bit of that now on the edge. That's not the one. This is the one. There we go. It's another piece that I have cut ahead. Just finding the right. I think this is the way.
Yeah, I think I'm all right with that now. Okay, let's um, glue that on. Done there. All right, let's trim this side off here. Right, okay, so that's that. I'm not too bothered because I'm going to cover it with flowers there. Make sure it's glue on properly. Right, let's just a bit more on the back here now. Finding the right place to put the pieces together. I think that's that's all right there. Okay. I'm just using all the cut off. Don't want anything to go to waste. Just too beautiful to go to waste. This fabric. this one here just need to snip okay that's good there That's good there. Snipping of all this and uh, netting. I was aware of um, this video getting too long and getting too boring, so again, you can always fast forward, I'm sure. You don't want to see all this fluffing about because <laughs> um, you can't really do anything ahead of time with this um, I'm afraid some things you can but some you just can't um, 
yeah you can't uh, do a head because you have to uh, you can only do it as you go along okay so just need to a bit there Let's see if I got any um, cut off I don't really want to waste any of this fabric right do I want I just want a little bit there okay let's cut this gorgeous flower So now I can just check in to see it straight. I'm happy with that. Okay. So I need to uh, cover the side here, which I think I will do cover with um, laces. Right. Okay. Next, um, I'm going to cover the, the, the edge now. Um, what have I got to the edge? I've got something really nice. So beautiful to cover it, isn't it? A shame. Um, no, I don't want to use that. What have I got? If I use that, I'm going to... find something to uh, go around the edges right I found this trim well, let's find the opening so that's the opening I found this trim that is um, beige color and I'm gonna put it around the edge let's do this edge from edge to edge um, it's gonna go all up and down okay I know it's over the edge of the, the, the box, but I will put uh, some, um, what do you call it, a uh, couple, some fit on. We'll put some fit on the, um, the box underneath. Put this way. But um, this is quite a nice trim as it goes, um, well, it goes with the top of the, um, the body of the uh, sewing machine. Just, um, yeah, just to blend it all in, bring it all together.
Oops. Things are falling down everywhere. Right. Just make sure I'm not sealing my uh, lid close. changing the channel <laughs> like to have a bit of background um, picture since I can't hear it I need to uh, well at least I know there's something going on at the back <laughs> Gonna close this a bit better. Okay, the corners are a bit awkward sometimes. Like that. Right, so checking see we still want peas. Yeah. Right, I've got the yeah, happy with that. So um, let's put a bit of what we got here. See, I can put some blink on it as well. Uh -huh. Right, okay, let's do it. Let's put some bow trim across. If I put this across, I'm thinking out loud. I'm thinking out loud, so that's not so good. No, I'm not going to do that just yet. That's not so good. Right, let's take some flowers over there and cover all this. Uh, This um, this wire. Oh no, it's all right. I can push it down. I've got some uh, lovely shabby roses. Another my favourite. 
Um, my favorite kind of oh, go to. I have um, I've used this on something. I t just took it all apart because uh, I'm not going to bother with the other project now. It's a bundan and uh, <laughs> bundan completely. I'm not going to go back to that one because um, now I'm fed up with it. So I'd rather go to something that I will enjoy. And which is what I'm doing now. So there we go. So we have that. Let's just make sure it's uh, right. Just press another one there. Sorry you can't see what I'm doing, but I'll try and um, <laughs> put you back onto the uh, screen, so to speak. That one. I need one more here. Another glue stick. I've never used so many glue sticks in all my life. <laughs> okay. Right, so that is my the base that I'm covered up. I managed to cover it up. Okay, because um, of this um stuffing showing so i've got that right another thing i which i didn't show you at first this needle i've got my needle there before i um put it onto the the box if you can see this is actually a long hat pin okay i can take this i can take this off and you can see Is the a needle okay that is the head pin if you can see there we go so I close it back so it doesn't hurt anybody so I push it down from the top here you can see this is where I push oh, there you go that is a bit okay this is where I push down so I thought it's quite nice if you can see there we go and then this bit I plan to hang a dangle all right which I need to hook onto there okay and then I've got dangle so that's what I'm gonna do but I need to close this loop okay all right let me close it get my plier We sit around. Don't have another. Oh, I do, but it's in the craft cabin. Pliers, I mean. So we'll have to use um, round nose pliers and a flat nose pliers. It's okay, it's coming, it's coming. Done it. So I make a, a, a loop and this I'm going to hang over my hat pin there at the top which I will glue down later 
in the meantime um get the string off right let's see what we're gonna do next so I've got this dangling down I need something for the top don't we we need some bobbins let me just go and hunt it down okay I found um, a wooden spool I covered the top with a bit of um, uh, this um, crocheted trim that I have here I just kind of just glue around the edge of the um, this wooden spool like this this little one here but mine this one is a bit longer so I just cover the edge of it and then I um, I've got this very uh, small uh, blink trim that I'm gonna wind around here which I should have done before I uh, put this trim on uh, very uh, unclever of me <laughs> not clever of me but it's all right we'll try to wind this around okay so I'm just gonna wind this wind this around as um, you do with thread around um, the spool so every now and then I will put a bit of glue on just to make sure it doesn't come undone there we go let's put another bit there there we go just gonna go round A bit more glue on this side. I just thought it looks um, it looked a bit <laughs> it looked fun as uh, opposed to um, thread. I thought a bit of blink would be nice. Okay. So let's go around a bit more. That's it. Last one. Okay. Right. Let's see if I can do another row. Yeah. I need to go. Okay, so it goes there. I'm thinking it goes on the top here, and then I'm going to wind this one through to which you can't see here. I found a little bell cap, um, and it's got a, a loop at the top. I think I'm gonna, I can, I try it, I can loop this through and um. I can loop it through here and right let's cut it for my scissors let's find this get my scissors um, let's think here okay let's do here right let's get this through this bell loop uh, cap there we go. There we go, perfect. So I got this through here. Okay. So before I secure that, I'm going to um, glue, glue this bit on so I don't lose it. on there and then I'm going to um, 
let's glue this on first so that I don't yank it off right that is where I want it let's glue it on right let's put this on here So put a bit of glue on I think I think I need a bit of glue in there okay. see if I can disguise that glue somehow look like I can't can't disguise it okay it's a bit there so now I have to somehow really I should thread that on shouldn't I yeah which is what which I'll do offline um, I shall s stitch this um, bell cap on as you can see there is uh, a lot of holes all around I'm gonna stitch it onto the uh, the top of this because I can't really I don't want to put glue on around the, 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 the bottom and you can see it which is not nice so yes, I will. Um, I will stitch it on offline. Um, meanwhile, okay, there's something we need to do, and um, which is here the uh, the wheel of the um, the hand. What you got it? The hand wheel thing on the um, sewing machine, which is right. It comes in a circle, and then um, I have covered it with a bit of applique. I'm not covering completely because um, I want to put something in the middle there, okay? So I have sewn around it so I can pull this to make it into like, um, uh, what do you call it? Puff, puffy thingy, <laughs> puffy cushion. Right, and then close. Here we go. Okay, so I have um some what you call it stuffing again, which I will put inside before I close this completely. Let's get that out of the way. Right, let's close it a bit more first. It's a little bit uh, stiff because of the, um, the applique. So, get a little bit more on this side. Right, I'll put my stuffing in now. A lot of people do it differently, but um, yeah, everybody have their own ways and idea. And, uh, And I've got my idea. Okay, so this is the little wheel, if you, uh, if that's how you say it, or the handle thing anyway on the um, <laughs> sewing machine. Right, so that's that. Just make sure I am happy with the size. Okay. To go there. To be 
careful I don't pull it too tight in case I, my string is snapped. Right, I think that's fine now. So I'm gonna okay. I'm gonna stitch this up now, and then um, we'll go from there. Oh, here we go. I think I pulled it off. Right. Okay, I have now. Gathered uh, this little, uh, what do you call it? Um, the wheel, the handle of the sewing machine. I stuffed it, and then I decided um, to get all my vintage uh, old antique lace, um, the remnants, and I gathered them up and made them into a long tassel. And I decided to stitch it onto the middle of this little wheel. I stitch it in there. So it looks like a, you can see like a little puff ball, which I, you know, so on. So I will now assemble this onto here. So, so you can see it has got a long tassel coming down, which is what I like. Um, I don't know if you can see it, uh, it's like that. So I've got a long, long trend uh, tassel coming down. I just, I've always wanted it um, a long, you know, something in my head I've been wanting to uh, do for a long time. Um, so I will now um, make sure it's in the center, just checking. Yeah, put it there. I will glue it on now. Lot of glue. Here we go. Lots of glue on there. Another glue stick in. So, to make sure this side is glue as well. Just gonna hold it for a few seconds so it don't fall off. And then what I would like is a pearl trim, I think, around there. Get a trim around there. Let's see the one that I took out originally. Any good? I'm gonna put it all around there. Or do I need something? I need something different. Not that. What have I got? I'm now looking around my room. Right. I'm just going to um, find the trim now. Right. I have found this pearl trim, which is beautiful, but is a bit of a pain because once you cut into it, it's going to fall apart. So I'm going to put that fray, uh, fray bit all at the bottom. So you can't see it, which is pretty to look at, but really it's just going to fall apart once you cut into it, which is a shame. So sometimes it's, you know, you got to um, think whether, you know, how easy it is to cut into some of this pearl um, trims that uh, you buy, you know, pretty to look at but a waste once you cut into it. But so, I suppose sometimes it's a sacrifice that you <laughs> have to make this in it that you're prepared to to lose some right just going to 
go underneath now. See, I just lost another big pearl coming off. So, I suppose it's not too bad if we just hide it underneath, which I need to make sure I can get in. And, uh, Make sure they're all glued on so I don't have them all falling out everywhere. Right, let's press it on now. Just to make sure. Oop, just touch it at the bottom. Just make sure that is all secured. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Just checking now to see that my sewing machine is still straight. Yep. Right. I've also got a big blink that I thought would be nice to go on the top here. Yep, just so we don't see that wooden bit. Okay. Okay, now that's done. Stick up difficult to see from the angle that I'm shooting, but I can see it from the side view. I suppose you will see it on when I take the picture. Right, so I'm going to put um, some. Right, let's do this side first because I don't want this to fall off yet, in case it's not. Well, I want to put, um, I got this beautiful, um, really antique, fine, delicate uh, lace I'm going to put on the side, which is perfect actually, perfect uh, width. So I just need to cut the right uh, length. Right, that's perfect. I just want to put it here, put it on the box. Beautiful, delicate lace. Got loads of um, um, shops uh, and also on eBay. Which is quite expensive. I was hoarding them for a while and now I decided to get them out for my special project because these are uh, these projects are, you know, it's not something that you see every day, is it? So it's from a special project. I also got these all these colours. These are all vintage. Do I want to use them? Just checking. Just checking. Wrong way. These are gorgeous, aren't they? So, which is just nice. I need to cut into them, which is a shame. What? Do I want it? Let me see. That's so delicate. Um, right. Having done that, so let's put a little trim around there, I think, because um, it's rather rough. So what shall we put in? Ah. 
So I'll put this in it. See if we can go. Let me use this little one. Right. Finding the end now is difficult. Yeah, I just use this pretty one. I think that's quite pretty. Go the right way. That's the right way. Just this, just to cover the edges. Then you don't see all the rough edges. I suppose if you didn't do it, it'll be yeah, it'd be rather shabby chic, isn't it? With a lot of um, sometimes it's nice when it's uh, you get lots of uh, fray sticking out, which is <laughs> a lot of my project is. Right. Do um, this trim now is getting to be quite precious because this color you can't get anymore, it's very hard to get, it's all sold out everywhere. So, I have to be rather special project to use this color, this um, trim. So, <laughs> everything is getting rather precious. Sorry, right there you go. You can see now. I'm gonna lift the bottom because I love the scallop edge. So I'll lift that. So now let's do this side. Do this edge. As you can see, it's rather. Oh, I need to put my uh, delicate lace on there. Right. So got to make sure I don't seal the lid on. So that is the opening. Bit of that, it's not straight. That's that. Now we'll put the trim on again. If uh, any one of you know where to get more of this um, pink flower trim, I would love to know, please. It's so annoying sometimes, isn't it? I'm not sometimes, all the time. Whenever you find something that you really, really like and love, and then you, you go back 
um, is all gone. It's always the case. So that's why I believe in when you see it, get it. Don't think about it or dilly dally because as the saying goes, the saying goes, um, you snooze, you lose. So, um, yes, I've learned. <laughs> you see something you like, get it. Because the next time you go back, it won't be there anymore. Right, I need to um, tie this up so we don't um, go unravel. There we go. Come on. Right, okay. So that is the side. And there is that. I just need to go and find some metal bits I think let's see okay I have found some um, metal embellishment I'm gonna put it down this side here so it just give it an extra bit of um, well look really so I'm going to stick it on To make sure it's secure. It's more on this side. Okay. So and then I found um, another one which go under the needle bit. Just go under there a bit, so which is quite nice. Lift that flower up. Let's just make sure it's the right way. Okay. okay. Right, so that the metal bits are on. So we got metal bit that goes around. Just notice I should put something on there, shouldn't I? So, right, before we do that, I want to put some metal leaves all around here. Just look pretty, I think. Right. There, get a couple more thing. Yeah, get another, another one underneath. Right, side. So it looked a bit, um, yeah, looked nice. With some metal. I think I need one more. Balance it off or not? Yeah, I need to go under as well just to balance it off. Right. So I need to tip it up so you can see what I'm doing, or so I can see what I'm doing. <laughs> right. This is. Under there, yeah, one more. There go perfect, perfect. So, this is the tassel coming back down. 
Let's give it a couple of seconds. I think I need to, um, something on there, don't I? Finish. So I added the rose there, so I'm going to add um, some metal leaf there as well. So it all blends in. Yeah, so it's all blend in with um, the rest of the box. Right, so I can't see. Right, just to get, make sure it's stuck on. And another one here, I think. Okay. Make sure it's on. Okay. So got one there. Gonna do the other one here, which is I've added the cream flowers. So I'm gonna add the leaves in there. And then this side. is uh, pretty much it and um, I shall put the photos on Facebook as well and um, I hope you <laughs> enjoy watching me making it I know it may be a bit boring but you know fast forward if it was and oh I've got a little I got I just decorated a little um uh, needlework box as well so which I will put on top there when I take a photo it's pretty cute isn't it <laughs> it's got little scissors and thimbles and whatnot so okay. oh, I have oh, just come back in Um, forgot to um, say I want to add the uh, the fit in I found some bobbins which I thought would be appropriate. Um, so I'm gonna add this onto the, uh, the feet. Yeah, I think this little one is just nice. So, which is perfect. So I'm just gonna add this. Um, oh, 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 no, 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 come back. <laughs> oh dear, come back, come back, come back. Right, gonna put that. On there, I think that is just the right height. I got two different heights, so the shortest one are the best. Cause I wasn't sure which ones are better, so we're gonna use this one. It's perfect <laughs> for the, for this. So that's it. One more. I've run out of uh, metal feet. I'm waiting for them to come back in. And then, uh, yeah, but this uh, this is just perfect. So now we've got wooden feet all on the bottom, which is good. So, um, yeah, I'm happy with that. Okay, thank you so much again for watching, and um, I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.